What people don't understand is that losing your vision, it's, it, you have to grieve it. Your vision is, is a part of you, so it's like a death. And you have to go through all those emotions. And um, it took me a long time. I still don't think I'm fully comfortable with it. I deal with it because I have kids and I have to. I have to get up in the morning and I have a family I have to take care of. But it's not, um, it's not an, an easy thing to get accustomed to. My name is Holly Bonner. I'm a blind mom of two little girls and I live in Staten Island, New York. Being a mom is hard, it's a hard job. It's the hardest job I've ever had and the pay stinks. <laughs> we love looking around at what's kind of like on our nature walk when we go to school. My kids know like to tell me, oh mommy, there's flowers here. Singing to the flowers? You gonna give the flowers a kissy? It's, I don't wanna be the mother that's always hovering, you know, over them. You wanna go try? Okay, I'm coming. I want them to be a kid. Oh, oh. You okay? You're okay. You're okay. Oh, did you fall? Let me see. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. Mothers are always judged. Be a mother in my position, you know, as a blind mom, it's 10 times worse. They just really look down on it. They don't think that you should be doing it. Home, Fran. Forward. Up. It took about five hours after I had my daughter. When I had been sleeping, they put this sign above my bed, patient is legally blind. And all the nurses were like, they were like hanging overhead, you know, and they were very scared and nervous. I was so afraid that somebody was going to come and try to take her. Are you ready? And I really believe that if I didn't have my husband with me, who was fully sighted, that it would have been a completely different outcome. The thing that I love about OrCam is that it's here, it's on my head, but unless you're really looking, it's attached to your glasses. You don't even know that it's there. So I don't have to wait for daddy. You know, I could just use the OrCam and we read the book together and they love it. And the tone on Staten Island is changing, which is great, because you hear people that are now, instead of saying, oh, she's blind, and kind of like pointing, they're like, oh, Holly Bonner is legally blind, or Holly's visually impaired. Oh, that thing on her head? That thing? Oh, that's an OrCam. They know! You're, you're changing the culture that's related to the blind community, which is awesome. I mean, it's, it's really amazing. I had a woman come up to me at one of the meetings and she said, are you gonna take my picture? Do you wanna save my face? I'm thinking to myself, your face I don't wanna save, but thanks, thanks for asking. <laughs>